AMD cards and processors are flooding the market and the possibilities of getting any hardware at MSRP these days are dead in the water. Hey, you know what? Speaking of floods, we were actually gonna benchmark the 9950X3D, which just released until this happened. But our warehouse wasn't the only thing leaking this week. We're leaking all over the place. Strap on your floaties, and I hope you didn't eat within the last 30 minutes because it's time for MetaPC's news where we test the limits of CPUs as well as our bathroom plumbing. Let's go. AMD announces pricing for the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D and 9900X 3D at $699 and $599. Chips arrive. When? Two days ago. Two days ago. They arrived in the past. There's something very important, and you're going to notice a recurring theme. In fact, if you watch these videos, you've heard this before. MSRP and availability mean nothing. We got to come up with a fun acronym for MSRP. Yeah. Live from Phoenix, Arizona, welcome to America's favorite show. What the fuck does MSRP mean? Manufacturers suggested ridiculous price. Mostly speculative retail pricing. I like that one. Market scam retail pain. Those are all accurate. But I think we're going to go with mostly speculative retail pricing. MSRP. Yeah. That's like a that. new definition we're going to go Mostly speculative retail pricing. 9950X ready is $699. The 9950X was uh, at uh, $559. I think at MSRP to $599. Thing, but you can find it for somewhere around there. Yeah, 9900 X3D, 599 that we talked about. The 9800 X3D, 480 bucks. While we still don't know the base clocks of the two releases, which we do now, uh, interesting, interesting MSRP availability is going to uh, prove probably fairly difficult. Yeah. We tried to do uh, benchmarking of uh, the 9950, 9900, and the 9800 mm -hmm. X3D, but our building decided to explode. Yeah, it didn't like it. It seemed that uh, God himself said, you shouldn't do this. He said, no, 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 no. Uh, we had a water heater explode, but don't worry. Uh, let's take a look at game benchmarks now. This is for the 9800 versus the 9950, and then you can see the difference here on the chart as well. This red line marks the difference between the two and where you really start to see uh, processors take off in terms of the 9950. Mirrors of Madness bench. What the hell? Does anyone, does he play, does anyone play that? What are we doing? We're going bench that. Cyberpunk. There you go. That's a better bench. Uh, what we got here? The 9800X3D. Uh, what am I even looking at? Across the board with games, 0 to 6% is roughly what you're seeing as an increase, which over the 7 series is big uh, because you had to disable an entire CCD in order to get any game mm. improvement. Now, we've talked about this a little bit internally because we have customers that wonder, they're like, hey, does it make sense to go to the 9950X3D, 9900X3D? It really depends on what you're doing. So this chart gives you a little bit better understanding of what workstation benchmarks look like by upgrading to these new processors and you're seeing the percentages instead of the one to 5% range. It's going all the way up to like a 90% increase when compared to some of these other processors and the difference is much, much higher. Impressive results, averaging 36, hitting a max of 93%. So office productivity, things like workstation tasks, that's where you're gonna see the big uh, the big boost. Guys, this is the most lucrative benchmarking I've seen in quite some time. Take a look at this, you're gonna love this. Office productivity benchmarks. You don't see a whole lot of Microsoft Word benchmarks. No. I, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Someone out there needs this. What, what are, how are we? I have so many questions. I have so many, how do you even benchmark this? I know who's doing it. You guys remember Clippy? You remember Clippy? Clippy is doing a little bit of benchmarking. That's that's my that's what I think's happening here. F AI. It's all about Clippy. You just can you just make this go away? Prepare this news segment today. This whole news is, is AMD packed. So strap in. Here we go. AMD's prepping updates for 12 plus core Ryzen X 3D SKU CPUs with Zen 5. AMD is adding some new features and existing and updating existing technology to enable even higher performance on this generation of X 3D series. 3D Vcash! 3D Vcash! So many core variations and all the nerdy shit. What you need to know is this. 3D Vcash performance optimizer was updated to work in Windows 10. That's the big up. <laughs> <laughs> what these updates mean for you is obviously when they're doing these, you know, vBIOS updates, you're trying to get max performance out of some of these games that are listed and even more, right? So you get better performance, sometimes up to 20, 30% yep. in some cases, just from that uh, BIOS update, uh, just takes a lot of testing. It's the so. same thing that happened with the Threadripper series because you have a lot of extra cores and you have some games that don't know what to do with them. Makes sense. 
leaks, guys. We're leaking all over the place. These are rumors, but they're coming from Copite. Copite is uh, sometimes accurate. So let's... 60% of the time? 100% of the time. It appears the rumors are true. NVIDIA is indeed planning to release the RTX 5050 after all. This new graphics card for the entry level segment is expected to arrive in a matter of weeks rather than months and is set to compete Ooh, now this is spicy. With the Battle Mage Arc B580. Intel, when they launched the B580, it was very well received. Now NVIDIA is clapping back and saying, okay, check out my 5050 and my 5060 Ti game. 5060 Ti, uh, so gonna be using the GB206. This is a Blackwell architecture, right, for this card. Um, looking at, ooh, maybe eight or 16 gigabyte cards. So may have a variant similar to the 4060 Ti, right? Yeah, which I mean, largely the 16 gig model in that no one really cares. They're like, why did we even do that? But with the Blackwell and you know, the and software the improvements software in the 50. Updates, yeah, it might make more sense. Really comes down to what's the pricing gonna look like. I'm interested on this article on video cards if they've speculated much on pricing. Rumors are suggesting that the 5060 and the 5050 series will be announced as early as next week. So you might actually see some more firm details on some of this coming up very, very soon. What do you think, what do you think the 5060 would come in at? 5070 was what? So 5070, 600 at MSRP. 5060 Ti, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hard to say. What if I told you <gasps> that we could get a card with 10 times the path tracing performance of a 5090? Where can I get it? What if I told you it had expandable memory? I'm ready. Claiming that it can beat the 5090. Now, what can it beat the 5090 in? Let's find out. Bolt Graphics, graphics card startup from Sunnyvale, California. This week introduced its Zeus GPU platform that is designed for gaming, rendering, and supercomputer simulations. The company says that its Zeus GPU not only supports features like upgradable memory and built-in ethernet interface. Ooh, in fact, let's look at, now I'm distracted because there is a ethernet port on this graphics card. Phil, have you ever seen an ethernet port on a graphics card? I haven't physically seen it. I've only... Someone in the comments will be like, Arr. I actually in the year 2060. <laughs> Something malted RW, a bunch of numbers and bits and bits and pieces, but there's an ethernet port on the graphics card. <laughs> and upgradable memory. This is aimed at path tracing rendering techniques as well as compute workload. Gaming wise, probably not gonna beat your 5090, but potentially in some of these workstation or, or processing tasks, it very well could. First GPU uh, from this company launching 2026. There are a lot of people that are maybe casting some well-deserved doubt on some of these claims. It's hard when you don't have hardware in hand. That ethernet port. Phil, you kind of described what the purpose for that port potentially would be. Uh, with the right software, you could render and stream your games directly through the network. So doing things like, you know, streaming gaming on your TV, you could have that with no latency. So very interesting. I mean, I'm, I don't wanna cast like, a, throw a bunch of crap at it because we haven't even seen it yet, but some of these uh, releases and some of these claims are pretty bold and if followed through on, maybe could cause a little bit of turbulence for, uh, for companies like Nvidia. What do you guys think? More AMD? More AMD, Let's, it's, it's all red. It's the AMD show, Peyton it's a red show today. Red. AMD Radeon 9060 XT confirmed with 16 gigabytes and eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Sticking to 128 bit memory bus. This is a leak for the 9600 XT from Acer. This is the Radeon RX 9060 XT. You've got your uh, 16 and eight gig options, GDDR6, very interesting. And uh, you're gonna need at least a 500 watt power supply. Can you pull that together? Some interesting stuff on this card. It's gonna be the first SKU to launch, which would be the 9060 XT. Uh, expected that we're gonna see both of those unveiled at the same time, the 16 gigabyte and eight gigabyte variants of the card. This looks very similar in specs to the 5060 Ti. I mean, that's what it's supposed they're, to be. Uh, they're coming right, right for them. Now we've been talking about MSRP a lot and a lot of people are talking about it because a lot of people were promised that mostly speculative retail price and they got their stuff canceled. Retailers are now canceling cheaper RX 9070 pre-orders. AMD had a successful launch with the Radeon RX 9070 series, but only if we're talking about gamers who happen to live close to a micro center. Their strategy was they wanted to sell a bunch of them up front at MSRP, launch only price, 
and that seemed to not be a thing for a lot of people looking to get those cards. The company will be encouraging retailers to sell the 9070 XT at MSRP. However, it's not stated how and what way, and how they have an effect. As it looks now, there's no MSRP stock in most parts. We're in some dystopian movie because the phrase MSRP stock just that just doesn't make sense. I think what they were trying to do from an enthusiast standpoint is say, look, we're trying to like make sure that we can control the price on these and get it to people at what we promised. The idea was good, but unless you can do all of them at MSRP, it's kind of hard to pitch that to the consumer and be like, yeah, 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 we had some, but yours is, is different. You know who doesn't do that? Who doesn't do that? Meta PCs. I feel an ad coming. Guys, Meta PCs, obviously the sponsor of this video because you're watching our channel. Hopefully, you'll go to Amazon.com and buy one of these raining things that's about to rain. <laughs> oh! These mouse mats are available at Amazon. All you gotta do is type in Meta PCs Hyper Beasts and buy one on Amazon or our website, and these pair great. With a brand new PC, we've got ready to ship builds and custom builds online at Meta PCs. Dot com. So if you're looking for a new PC or know someone who is, don't let them go to a big box store and buy a soulless piece of crap. Have them buy a Meta PC instead. Oh boy, is this a Titan card? Guys, a Titan. Oh. NVIDIA is set to launch the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell GPU. Oh my God. Gosh, this is definitely the closest we're gonna get to a Titan card, so let's strap in and find out. According to the Lead Tech website, the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell is gonna feature 24,064 CUDA cores. Not only is the name confirmed as RTX Pro, but NVIDIA finally found a way to differentiate its workstation and professional cards. 96 gigs, holy crap, of GDDR7 <laughs> memory. That is obscene. It's a fat stack of memory. That's a fat stack. Now, this is not the same memory as on the gaming cards, okay? Not only does it have an increased capacity, capacity of 24 gigs, but it also supports ECC. Interestingly, the Lead Tech website seems to confirm that this card is indeed a 600 watt model. Jesus. Which would be one of the first cases where a workstation model has a higher TDP, TGP than the gaming version. Now look, let's take a look at it on paper. The RTX Pro 6000 has 32% more CUDA cores than its predecessor, which is the RTX 6080A. It's gonna have twice the memory capacity and seemingly twice the freaking power requirement that 600 watts is just obscene it would be nearly impossible to have a 600 watt card in a blower style design which is why nvidia is introducing its open air cooler design more specifically a version of its dope double flow through cooler and it looks a lot like a founder's card it looks exactly like one you'll never get one you'll never have one but boy isn't it fun to dream oh no, guys, somebody got a little bit scammed on Amazon. Fake Ryzen 7 9800X 3D bought from Amazon, and my goodness, they used the, uh, the very forward-thinking scammer mentality of put a different sticker on it. The outer packaging of this new sold by Amazon chick, chip, chick, <laughs> whatever. Eris from Hardware Busters is gonna get his money back. He's in the return process, but first let's take a look at what he got. The retail box of a fake, Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. There's some, there's some definite uh, like marks visually that you should be able to you know, discern. Side by side, you can see this photo of a genuine Ryzen 9000 chip on the left, and then you've got this 9800X 3D on the right. They uh, peeled back the sticker, and under the sticker was an AMD FX4100. Guys, if you even tried to put this into your AMD motherboard that was intended for this 9800X 3D, you would bust your board, <laughs> you just fry the whole thing. Imagine you were this person scamming or attempting to scam people on Amazon, and you just happened, happened to sell it to hardware busters, of all people, all people on Amazon, it ended up in the hands of the people that are like, hey, guess what? We're, we gonna make a little content about this. We gonna put you on blast. Bad news, don't do that shit. Boys and girls of all ages, hopefully not all ages. Maybe like 18 plus type thing. I don't care how old you are, but hopefully you found some good news in our new segment today. And if you enjoyed it, we've noticed that some of you aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Say hi to Phil, say hi to Jared, the guys that make the show happen. Say hi to Omar. Hey, Omar. Hi, Omar. Hi, Omar. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the PCs News.